हेलो एवरी वन आई एम दत्तात्रेय निकम वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन अवर चैनल ई फंडा न्यू डे न्यू टॉपिक एंड अवर टूडे टॉपिक इज ऑयल एंड गैस ऑन शोर वर्सेज ऑफ शोर दिस इज अ स्पेशल वीडियो वेर वी विल कवर द डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन ऑयल एंड गैस फॉर देयर ऑन शोर एंड ऑफ शोर फैसिलिटीज एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू अवर चैनल देन प्लीज विजिट टू अवर चैनल ई फंडा and watch all the videos created related to the various topics of engineering fundamentals instrumentation and control engineering deliverables procurement engineering telecommunication engineering and many other and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get latest notification on upload of our new video on our channel e funda so let's begin with our today's topic that is oil and gas onshore versus offshore oil and gas onshore versus offshore onshore when used in relation to hydrocarbon refers to an oil natural gas or condensate field that is under the land or to activities or operation carried out in relation to such a field onshore one can refer the picture may also refer to the processes that take place on land that are associated with oil gas or condensation production that has taken place offshore the offshore production facility delivers oil gas and condensate by pipeline to the onshore terminal and processing facilities alternatively oil may be delivered by ocean going tanker to onshore terminal now offshore when used in relation to hydrocarbon refers to operation undertaken or under the sea in association with an oil natural gas or condensate field that is under the sea bed or to activities carried out in relation to such a field offshore is part of the upstream sector of oil and gas industry one can refer to the offshore field picture offshore activities include searching for potential underground crude oil and natural gas reservoirs and accumulations the drilling of exploratory wells and subsequently drilling and operating the wells that are recovered and bring the crude oil or a natural gas to the surface offshore exploration is performed with a floating drilling units drill ships semi submersible installation and jack up installations now moving on to the actual differences of onshore versus offshore facilities this we will see in aspects where onshore and offshore will be differentiate first point meaning under onshore refers to activities of a oil exploration that are conducted on a land away from the ocean whereas in the offshore while offshore pertaining to oil exploration and rigging under the bed of the ocean second is the definition onshore refers to the mainland in exploration and production onshore refers to the development of oil field gas deposits and geothermal energy on the land whereas offshore originally mean islands in the open sea belong to a country the term offshore means off the coast in oil and gas extraction offshore refers to the development of oil field and natural gas deposits under the ocean third work site photograph one can see under onshore various onshore oil and gas facilities are shown whereas similarly to the offshore offshore platforms or process complex are shown for better clarity of work sites field development onshore oil and gas field development consist of first well head design second gathering lines third manifolds fourth gas oil separation plant that is gas fifth pumping and compression station oil and gas terminal and processing plant includes first oil and gas reception facilities second oil storage and unloading terminal third store oil and gas processing fourth high wax high produce water crude oil production fifth natural gas processing and treating these are the facilities are developed under onshore whereas for the offshore work involves sea bed subsea water level first is the classification of the water depth less than 
meter shallow water less than 1500 meter deep water greater than 1500 meter ultra deep water these are the water depths where the sea beds are located second types of the drilling rigs are used a jackup that is a drilling rig is used a floating barge with a drilling equipment on its deck and long support legs and is used in shallow water up to 300 feet a semi submersible is the most common type of offshore drilling rig is used for drilling in water more than 300 feet deep further offshore specially designed rigs mounted on a ship can drill a well in a water of 10000 feet deep continuation to fill development under onshore one can refer the picture where oil wells connected to do power and industrial further it is going to oil wells and then going to gas oil separation where the flare is connected again then water treatment plant and the refineries are connected similarly the other side tank farm is shown and where is the gas plants are also located and further is to distribute the gases and similarly it is connected to ngl recovery where all the processing is done this is how the onshore facilities work whereas in the offshore types of offshore platforms are first fixed platform that is fp water depth up to 1500 feet second compliant tower ct water depth between 1000 to 2000 feet third tension lake platform that is a tlp water depth approaching 4000 feet four mini tension lake platform that is a mini tlp fifth par platform that is a water depth up to 3000 feet sixth floating production system that is fps seven subsi system that is ss eight floating production storage and offloading system fpso all these pictures one can see in a below pictures where all the platform and their structures are shown for ready reference this is how the field development is taken care in the offshore facilities fifth point infrastructure offshore platform that is a drilling onshore production facilities transportation system via pipelines or tanker whereas for the offshore platform drilling and production transportation systems are tanker six the land acquisition onshore is unlimited offshore is limited seven the land conflict under onshore possible because the construction of a facilities on land is necessary whereas for the offshore it's a low possibility due to the activities on the high seas eight social and environmental effect under onshore possible due to land activity the environment can be polluted whereas in the offshore less social impact the environment may be polluted as it on the high seas nine facilities after the exploitation period is over the facilities on the land are difficult to move and can be used for lng production from other wells whereas offshore facilities can be moved to another exploitation location because it is floating type tenth maintenance on onshore it is easier and cheaper because of the access on the land offshore it is more difficult and expensive because it is located at high seas so far we have seen oil and gas onshore versus offshore facility differentiation where we have tried to cover the major point one can refer to the picture where offshore and onshore facilities are shown similarly one can refer to the color coding water in blue color oil in green color gas in a red color this combination one can see at the reservoir location similarly at the offshore we have surface center with the help of platform where the manifolds are connected and from there the fpso or fpso is being used for the transportation whereas on the onshore part one can see the oil pumps which are connected to the producer well and injection water well are also connected and through the manifold 
it will bring it to the surface center with the help of pipelines and tanker this is how the oil and gas onshore and offshore facilities are located and being operated for the extraction or the processing of a crude oil for the benefit of the mankind and further after processing it will be distributed with this we are concluding on our today's topic and you can find our channel details as follows if you are new to our channel that is our youtube channel e funda then subscribe to our channel e funda and don't forget to press bell icon to get latest notification of upload of our new video on our channel e funda similarly you can follow us on instagram page similarly you can follow us on our facebook page as well and keep watching our channel e funda for various topics related to engineering and a project with this we can assure you this will help you to better your understanding on engineering and a project topic keep watching our channel e funda thanks watch our channel for new day new topic